feeling extra confident thanks to the Seven Days of Fears program, so I wanted to spread the love by sharing tips on how you can find swimwear for your body type so that you feel your fiercest on the beach this year. Even though all of our bodies are uniquely different, there are some tips that are universally flattering to certain figure types. So for those of you with no curves, tons of curves, and everything in between, I got the tips for you. Before we get into that, I promise I would recap one of the dares that I did in the Seven Days of Fierce program along with Nora Crotty of Fashionista. Every day for one week, we've been trying carefree liners and taking on mini dares to embrace our inner fierceness. My seven day dare encouraged me to sign up for a class, workshop, or something I've never tried before. Truth is, there's a dance class that happens before the weight class that I take at the gym, so I'm always stuck watching the tail end of the dance class before my weight class starts. I've always marveled at how these people are just letting it all out and dancing without a care in the world if they're good at dancing or not. And after a week of keeping it fresh with Carefree, I had the confidence I needed to sign up for that dance class and get my fierceness on. And I actually had a ton of fun. You can also check out all the fun ways Nora and I dared ourselves to keep it fresh and fierce this past week. Not to mention, the dance class was a great way to step up my fitness game and get me ready for bathing suit season. And with that said, let's get to the tips. If you have a boyish figure or little to no curves, you want to go for cutout swimsuits. The cut of the cutouts will actually cut in and create the illusion of more defined and bigger curves. Or you can go for sheer that cuts in the same way as the cutouts. As you can see here, this cuts in, so it's gonna create a waist that you may not have. If a cutout suit seems a little daring for you, I suggest you try it on before you rule it out. You never know what fierceness it'll let out in you. Also go for anything with flirty and embellishments, ruffles, or frills to add movement and shape to a straight frame. If you're pear shape, bottom heavy, or plus size, I suggest going a little retro with a swim dress. I love the swim dress because it is so incredibly flattering. It fits really nice in the bust and the waist area and flutters out around the hips and thighs. It almost looks like you're wearing a mini dress. Also, ruching and gathering because it helps conceal little unsightly imperfections. If you have a smaller bust, you want to look for for the bathing suit top trifecta. Molded cuffs, halter style, and a tie in the center. And remember, when wearing a bathing suit, it is as much about feeling confident on the inside as it is about how you look on the outside. So make sure to only stick to wearing things you feel your best self in. If you have a petite frame, you might wanna try bathing suits that are high-waisted because they create the illusion that your legs start higher than they actually do. It's also a good suggestion to opt for bathing suits that are higher cut on the side so it shows a little bit more of your leg and elongates. If you have broad shoulders, you want to go for halter style bathing suits or strapless. You should consider staying away from bra style straps because they can accentuate the broadness of your shoulders. And that's all the bathing suit tips I have for you guys this week. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below and if you found this helpful. Oh, and if you haven't, don't forget to check out freshestfierce.com by Carefree Liners for other great tips on how to keep it fresh and fierce this summer. I've included the link in the description below. And don't forget to share with me your fiercest look or show me how you're embracing something new this season by hashtagging freshisfierce on social media. I wanna see. And that's all I got. Have a great week. Bye everyone.